Alright guys, Daniel here, and a guildmate of mine named Matt, or M for short, as you can see in the screen right now, uh, they actually gave me access to their account, they have a much stronger account than I do, they're going to go ahead and allow me to go ahead and view what they have, they do have a few level 200 heroes, a couple Pisces heroes, and we're just going to go ahead and see what we can do with them. Alright, and as you can see, they do have something to claim here, so we're just going to go ahead and press that, and we'll see what those rewards are. They're gold, uh, as you would probably expect for someone high level, you require a lot of gold, and they have a freaking heck of a lot of magic powder, 71,000 magic powder, which is insane. But we're going to go ahead and check on what heroes they have, and they're Ambrosia for the first hero, level 12 enlightenment, level 28 skill, about half the enchants. On their abyss, they have level 11, about half the enchants again, also level 200. We don't have any enlightenment on the Great Sage, but they do have a level 25 skill. They have a level 23 skill on the Toxic Shaman, no enlightenment, but we have, it's pretty good still. On their wrath, they have a Pisces wrath, level 25 skill, level 200 hero, of course. And their Rene Ven, not enlightened, but does have Pisces, and... Almost level 200 with 196. But I think they're trying to work on leveling their Toxic Shaman. You can see here they have a Woven Fiend. Uh, yeah, Pisces, of course, 200. And it was a level 25 skill. Pretty good there. And about half the enchants. And the Arcane Caster, level 22. And I do want to mention about the Arcane Caster. I'll go ahead and put a graphic on the screen now. But she is one of the two heroes that are going to attain enlightenment. The other hero is Dark Rider, as you can see there. And I'm estimating that since Arcane Caster will be attaining enlightenment, once the top players do max her out, players, they'll be able to get over 200 million at the most, which is kind of insane if you think about it. Because they already score around 160 million. Once Enlightenment comes out for Arcane Caster, that combined with all the other Enlightened heroes, that'll make it pretty hard not to get 200 million as a score for those top heroes. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and look at Wonton now. Of course, level 200, all blessed weapons talents have a little bit of the enchants for that. But we're going to go ahead and look at Pangoli. He can be a beast at high level. Um, he doesn't have anything really invested into Pangoli. I think he's trying to level up his Ambrosia first. But as you can see right here, with the heroes that he has, he scored just under 100 million damage, which ranked him 28th place in the guild boss for either Ogre. Right now, we're going to be doing some Lord's League attacks. And he's given me free reign, so I can go ahead and attack anyone that I need to, that I want to go ahead and attack. Right now, we're going to be looking at the first person, which would be... I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I think it's Okwaiora, I think. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and see what bases we have. Let's go for the next one. At this level, they're all going to be 200s. They're all going to have Tyrant's Brands, all plus 2 and plus 3 gold equipment. Most of the time, plus 3 gold equipment. Most some of the time, at plus 3 gold Tyrant's Brands, which is insane. But right now, we're just searching for a good base to attack. I've heard of Kit Kat before, so I think we're going to go ahead and attack them, just because I've heard their name mentioned before. And since this Pangoli does not have a Tyrant's Brand, I think we're going to actually going to attack from the Pangoli side. And right now, remember, I'm only attacking based on how I remember attacking based on the heroes that I have and the bases I fight. But as since our Great Sage is dropping, we're going to activate Abyss, go ahead and try to heal up a little bit. And drop our rest of the heroes as accordingly. And use our divines appropriately as well. Right now we're just trying to deal as much as possible. And as you can see, the those heroes, with, even with the heroes that I have under M's account, those heroes are still not dying. Even with all this power in front of me, those heroes are still not dying. Those heroes... At high level, are certainly a beast. You can seriously tell that much. 
right now we're just waiting to kill this last hero once we do I'm gonna go ahead and just use the rest of my skills here try to see how much we can do on this base and we have accomplished that we have torn through those heroes so we're just gonna go ahead and heal everyone back to full with that ambrosia skill that we just did and we do have four divines left, so we're going to go ahead and just try to depower everyone as much as possible. We went ahead and used the Wrath skill on the Toxic Shaman. I think it is going to get a skill off regardless, but we're going to go ahead and just make it as difficult as possible for Kit Kat to overcome our heroes. And I think we're actually going to go ahead and three-star this no problem. We're just going to go ahead and finish up the attacks. As you can see on that sniper tower, we have all those sharpshooters and all those wizards, and it still took a bit to take that sniper down, which is crazy, crazy strong, crazy, crazy powerful that those fortitudes can do and those high-level health snipers. As you can see, we're just pummeling through this at the moment. We're doing as much damage as possible right now, and we're just seeing how quickly and how strong that our heroes are and how quickly we can actually take over the enemy base and our heroes are dying they are kind of dropping but since our ambrosia is only one and a half rage we are able to actually heal everyone up and keep everyone alive since our ambrosia is not at two rage it is quite easy to actually keep them alive especially since we have long pangoli a times so it is even easier that way. And right now we have successfully got a 100% 3 star on Kit Kat. That is a good attack in my book. We're going to go ahead and do another Lord's League attack and see who we can get. Right now we have Legolas, the junior account. But it's still Legolas with a 200 Ironclad plus a Tyrant's Brand. So we are going to skip that base. Right now we have another base with two Tyrant Sprints, as you can see right there. So we are going to skip that one as well. I do not want to have to deal with them. Right now we do have a Tyrant on Wonton, but we may end up attacking. I may end up attacking that base. We do have a Tyrant on Pangoli, so I'm not going to attack that base. We do have another Tyrant on Ambrosia and Pangoli, but I think I still want to attack it just because of how the base looks. But, oh no, there have... Four Tyrant Sprans on that base, which is very, very dangerous. It would be very, very difficult to attack. So we're going to see what the last base is. Mofo Aaron. Right now they have... Doesn't look like they have any Tyrant Sprans other than that. Wonton. So I think we are actually going to attack them. Let's just go ahead and see what else they have first. I think we're... Yeah, I think we're actually going to go ahead and attack them. Because they seem to be the easiest out of those five. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to do that. I'm going to try to do what I remember of people using their wrath attacks with. I think I'm going to fail miserably at how we're doing it. But we're going to go ahead and attack with wrath and see how much damage we can do. See if we can actually take Mofo Aaron out. Right now, his Toxic Shaman is trying to beat on my wrath. But is pretty successful. But then again, even with that Ambrosia plus the Toxic Shaman plus the Toxic Shaman skill, we are actually taking the Toxic Shaman out, which is really nice. If that Pangoli aid was lasted for just a short while longer, that Toxic Shaman would actually be killed from the Wrath skill, bleeding damage. And as you can see for the Toxic Shaman, when it went back into its base, that healing is insane. It went ahead and healed for a crazy amount and brought him all the way back to full. But we are dropping all of our heroes now. We are trying to disperse through this Toxic Shaman. It has already activated his Pangolis aid, so it won't be a problem actually taking him out. But right now, we're just finishing up the heroes. We got their Pangoli to its Pangoli aid. And we're just trying to burst through these walls, trying to burst through those victory statues, and then just kill the Ambrosia. And then from that point, we won't have an issue with this base anymore, wanton or not. But right now, we're going to go ahead and just use up all the skills that we need, all that power. Just going to go ahead and pummel through as much stuff as we can to go ahead and just burst down this base and then claim the victory for us.
as you can see right there, those Abyss Demon heals are going crazy, crazy fast. And that is because his Abyss Demon is insane. It is even stronger than my Abyss Demon, and I have full enchants at that. But right now, we're just doing as much damage as possible right now. Just doing as much as possible. Right now, we're just beating on this, I believe it's an Ambrosia, or is that a Rene Venom in the middle? I think it's an Arcane Caster, actually. Because it was with the Arcane Caster skill from the top. But we did do a 3-star 100% on this base. As you can see, the rewards weren't that great. But we're going to do another Lord's League attack. And we have 1-1. One, one. Oh, you know I have to attack 1-1. One, one. You know I have to see how powerful he is. 1-1 one, one is a big player. Big player in the Android community. He is on the Lord's League. On first quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and show. He's not first right now. Some other players have taken his place. But he is normally the first player. First place player on the Lord's League. We have to attack him. We have to attack him. And let's see what we can do. I have a feeling we are going to lose. But I have a feeling that M could actually beat them. Because they, cause M knows how to use his heroes. But we are going to attack them and then see how we can do. Right now I'm just scouting about how to attack him. I think we're going to attack from the Pangoli side because he does not have a Tyrant's Brand. But we're going to go ahead and see how we can do. Right now I think I'm going to start off with dropping a Wrath. I'm going to try to do another of those Wrath attacks again. I'm going to try to draw that Pangoli over before I end up activating his Divine. I'm also going ahead and generating some Rage as well. And since our Rasa's taken a little bit of damage, I'm dropping Abyss Demon heal him up as well. And since we are aggroing heroes, in just a moment, I'm going to go ahead and activate Rasa's Divine and Skill. As you can see right there, we just did. And Abyss is dropping quite a bit. And since they do have a Pangoli on base, that was an Enlightened Pangoli. They went ahead and removed some of the Pangoli a time from my Abyss Demon which killed him quite quickly. And right now, I have a feeling I'm just going to be pummeled right now. Yes, I was pummeled right there. As you, They are quite powerful. We're going to try to lock everyone up, see if we can just try to burst through this last hero. And once we do that, they'll still have some walls left, but we can try to punch through that and then last just long enough to revive our Abyss Demon with the Renevin. And hopefully we should stand a good chance Right now, we aren't doing too, too bad. I'm going to try to get Great Sage Divine again, lock everyone up again, keep our heroes alive, continually activating Ambrosia's skill, continually healing so that we won't have as much of an issue as before. Right now, we are struggling. Wonton did activate his Divine, did silence our Ambrosia, unfortunately. So right now, we do... Managed to go ahead and revive our Abyss Demon. I'm going to try to use our Allied Winds. Try to get the Abyss Demon to heal. Does not look like we'll be able to do it just in time for the Great Sage or the Rene Ven. That shouldn't be a problem though. Hopefully it won't be a problem. Because we should be able to keep them alive. And we have not kept them alive. Toxic Shaman Skill and Wonton Divine did not allow for us to do much on this base. We did only get 31%. We didn't even get a 1 star. But that is 1-1's one power for you guys. 1-1 one one is a crazy strong player. That's what you can expect from the top players on Android. Crazy, crazy powerful. Do one more Lord's League attack for you guys. As you can see, they do have a couple Tyrant Brands on their base. They do have, do have three Tyrant Brands on their base. So I'm feeling we don't want to attack them. I want to see what we have otherwise. Let's go to the next base here. And they do have one Tyrant's Brands on their top. <sighs> As you can see, they do have one Tyrant's Brand on their Toxic Shaman. So we're going to go ahead and see what else they have on their base. They do have a Wrath with a Arcane Tome equipment. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and see... Let's see, do we want to attack them? Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack them with the Wrath on the Great Sage side. 
It is an enlightened great sage, so it will teleport once it receives us some damage. But let's see how much damage we can actually go ahead and do to that. We do have a wrath attacking the guild boss and the great sage. So it should, hopefully should be healing quite a bit. Unfortunately, it is not healing much at all right now. We're just trying to do as much damage as we possibly can using the wrath to make the heroes die quickly and the abyss to make our abyss and wrath heal up. And their great sage did kill all of our mercenaries there, unfortunately, so can't provide any sort of additional damage. We, we are going through this here. And our team is doing pretty good so far. So we're going to go ahead and just reactivate our abyss demon, get our team up, heal up so, so much, get our team all healed up. And we're doing great sage to go ahead and just make sure everyone is locked out for them. So we won't have any issues. Right now, our Ambrosia is supposed to be healing. I'm not sure why I wasn't healing before. As you can see, we are losing, unfortunately. Ah, oh, we did lose our Abyss, so we will lose this attack. We did get a 1 star, though. 56%. So we are going to get a few trophies on here. And M has lost to M. I just realized that. M has lost to M. M has beat M. <laughs> Uh, right now, we are not going to revive those heroes. We are not going to pay another 45 gems. But we are going to go ahead and change the lineup to what I like to attack with. We're going to go ahead and change the Wrath to a Toxic Shaman. I don't really have a Wrath to use. I just used my Toxic Shaman. So I know how to attack with him. I like using them. And I like attacking with him. Right now, we're going to see what equipment he has. We're going to see what we want to use. I think I want to just stick with that blade. Uh, yeah, I think I just want to go ahead and stick with that blade. It is plus three gold, so it is really good. But we're just going to go ahead and see what we can do here. All right, and you can see the aids right there. They are pretty, pretty decent. They have Berserker on all five heroes, which is always nice to have. It prevents any sort of instant death, especially during a Volum Fiend on base. Especially during that. That can kill your hero as having a wolf and on base if you do not have Berserker aids on your hero. Right now, we are going to go ahead and replace the Toxic Shaman with a Pisces level 200 wolf and fiend. We're going to give him a blade. We're going to see if how much damage he can do. Right now, we're going to go ahead and look for a real player base. Or, yeah, let's go ahead and look for a. This is a lot of gold, so we're going to go ahead and attack it. Just get a bit of gold while we're working on this. Alright, and we are doing an attack with the Woven Fiend right here. We are keeping it in human mode. And as you can see, it is not dying. It is practically not taking damage. We do have an Abyss Demon healing the opponent's heroes. And in just a moment, once I do become unlocked, we are going to go ahead and activate to Wolf Mode. We are going to go ahead and activate his Divine. And... From the looks of it, even with everyone at full health, I think it'll go ahead and just one-shot everybody. Just because the Woven Fiend is a freaking powerhouse. It is a beast. Do not mistake that. Woven Fiend is an insane beast. But right now, once we do go ahead and have him unlocked, we will go ahead and activate Woven Fiend's skill. Change him to Wolf Mode and activate his Divine, which would be the Beastial Instincts. And we'll see how much damage he can do. Activate his divine now. Yes, it one shot everybody. Which is insane. It one shot those level 195 heroes. Keep in mind they don't have their real fortitude buffs. Not their real fortitude buffs. It is just based on the buffs that their heroes halls have for the bot bases. But it is still pretty insane that they do have. It is able to one shot all of that. In just a moment, as you can see right there, it does have a burst attack after its 10th attack, which is pretty, pretty insane. Also, it has the lightning blade, so it even kind of does a mini second burst attack. But right now, we're just finishing this up. I'm going to see if I can kill the Enchantress. I think we might have a damage, reduct damage reflection aid. Let's just go ahead and see. No, we do not have a damage reflection aid. Hmm. I was hoping to go ahead and see if we could kill the Enchantress, see if we could 100% everything on there. Oh, it doesn't look like we have a damage reflection aid. So I just switched it back to wolf mode, back to damage mode, because it is faster as well. Just to see how much 
we'll see how fast we can actually get this done and go to the next part. Right now, we are just looking for a real player base, something that has a real challenge. They were a real player base, but they just had a fake hero. Ooh, Tupac is a really strong looking base. So we're going to go ahead and attack him and see how far the Wolven Fiend can last in hero mode. As you can see, that Ambrosia is machine gunning that Wolven Fiend, and it is not really taking damage much at all. We do have him in hero mode. The only thing that was able to kill it was the Pengoli. With, now it was with the Tyrant then. It had a Ironclad Aid repeatedly stunning him. And then had the Pangoli deal the winning shot. Which was able to go ahead and one shot the um, Wolven Fiend. Right now I'm just setting their his formation back to what it was. So I won't forget anything. I won't have to remember to put it back how it was before. Right now, we're going to go ahead and just use his weakest real hero, which is the level 146 Ironclad. I'm just going to go ahead and use his weakest hero and see how much that can do, see how much damage that can actually do. Right now, let's go ahead and test it on a bot base first. But let's go ahead and... Just going to go ahead and do it on a real player base first. And let's go ahead and drop him down. I don't know how much damage he will do. He is only level 146 with a skill that costs 2.5 rage. But we are still going to try it. We're going to see how the Ironclad does at this level. I'm going to wait for those heroes to come in range and then activate his skill and divine. And go see how much damage he can actually do. His divine does cover the entire map, which is pretty, pretty insane. Which is really, really insane. His divine covers the entire map. As you can see right there, he is invincible at the moment. And he is repeatedly stunning targets. And what is crazy is that while his divine is going on, you can still activate his skill as well. So it can do both of them at the same exact time. Something that no other hero can actually do. Other, than, No other hero can actually do while... Two of them are going off on the same exact time. Just a little interesting tidbit there. Right now you can see the talents. They were just randomly put on just to put talents on. So nothing big or too important there. Right now I'm just going to put this hero back and put it back on the equipment that it needs to have. Right now we are going to be doing another Lord's League attack here going to be doing our attack lineup and since we have all the heroes fully healed up we're going to go ahead and do another attack here we're going to go ahead and be attacking Hakan or Hakan I think it's Hakan or we're going to be attacking them possibly or we're going to go ahead and be attacking DVD DVD I have her before there have been quite a few attacks that I've seen people going against DVD which is DVD was a big mainstay I think back in the day um, I think DVD was a really strong player. I think he still is a really strong player. But we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and attack DVD here. We do have the heroes. And I'm going to go ahead and replace Great Sage with Wonton. We're going to see how much of a difference that actually does. Put a Tyrant Brand on him again, of course. Because at the Pisces level with the Tyrant Brand, hopefully it should be able to go ahead and do massive, massive damage. And right now, we are going to wait for those few seconds. And we are going to go ahead and put the Tyrant's Brand on the Toxic Shaman as well. Hopefully, the Toxic Shaman skill will eat through the Berserker Aids of the enemy heroes, if they do have any. Go ahead and wait the few seconds here. And we are going to be doing another attack here. We are going to be attacking Hakan. We are going to be attacking Spike, because they are in our guild. Um... We are going to be seeing what we can actually do. Yeah, right now we're going to be attacking Hakan here. And we're just going to go ahead and just jump into this. Alright, and we are going to be attacking DVD here. We're just going to go ahead and look at Spike's base. We're not going to attack him, of course. We're just going to go ahead and see at his enlightened landslide. I'm going to go ahead and move over to him. He does look pretty, pretty cool. Uh, he's going ahead and shrugging his shoulders like he doesn't give a care. 
kind of a little funny looking there. But we're going to be attacking DVD here. DVD has a pretty, pretty solid base. So we're going to be seeing how much we can actually do against it. Right now, during my playstyle, I'm going to go ahead and activate Abyss Demon first. I'm going to go ahead and try to heal up as much as possible. And since I wasn't able to heal much at all, I went ahead and activated Ambrosia's Divine. Basically, given Abyss Demon a little bit more time to heal. And right now, we are just trying to pummel through the first few heroes. They do have a Pangolion base, so I'm trying to make it as least low amount of heroes as possible. So it gives Pangolion the least amount of value that it's possible to do. And as you can see, I'm trying to activate as much as possible, but it's not ending up working in their favor correctly. Alright, we do have three heroes left. In just a moment, we're going to go ahead and drop Rene Ven. Go ahead and revive Toxic Shaman. We do have a little hero in the corner, so it does it is a little bit dangerous there. Okay, the hero is gone. So we're going to go ahead and actually drop Rene Ven. And once it gets enough rage and is safe, we're going to go ahead and drop her. And then activate her skill to revive Toxic Shaman. So we don't have to pay the few jewels. That's the only reason we don't really need Toxic Shaman right now. Um, right now, we're just trying to get everybody fully healed up and make sure that we don't have any sort of problems. Now, the only thing left is the girl boss, so that's not a problem. We'll be able to take care of that easily, easily. Even a max girl boss just by itself is nothing compared to these heroes. Um, right now, we're just trying to... Oh, no, we did act revive Toxic Shaman's Divine. That's fine. We're activating it. It'll provide a little bit of help against that Arcane Caster. A little bit of damage right there. But right now we're just doing as much damage as possible to that arcane caster. Trying to just burst her down. Trying to scale her as fast as possible. And it does look like we will be able to do that. It will take a little bit of time though. She is healing quite a bit. As you can see with those green numbers. Those healing numbers right there. Right now our abyss demon is struggling to stay alive. Um... I don't know if we'd be able to activate. Okay, we will. We'll be able to activate Renevin's skill, keep Abyss alive just for a little bit, and that will cause us to not have to pay those few jewels to go ahead and revive him. But right now, you can see we do have a 100% three star on DVD, which is a good thing in my book. But right now, we just have to activate one more Ambrosia skill, and we will have this base done. All our heroes are full health. All our heroes are all out there. And they only have one sniper tower left. They have no chance of defeating us now. As you can see, those sniper towers. Do you see how much damage that sniper tower did to that abyss demon? That sniper tower was an MVP video. We're just going to be doing a Colosseum attack. We're going to see how it looks in Colosseum for them. For M. When he normally attacks. Unfortunately we are not able to get a toxic shaman skill off. I'm going to go ahead and activate him. And then use both those hero team skills. Go ahead and try to just make sure it's hard as possible for the opponent to defeat me. And it looks like we are getting defeated. We are getting severely crushed right now. It looks like their toxic shaman is providing quite a bit of value. Especially comboed with their enchantress. They are making it kind of very, very hard for us to stay alive. I'm having to activate Ambrosia's Divine just to keep my just keep my Ambrosia alive just a little bit longer. But right now, we are going to lose this battle. But we are going to go ahead and do another battle right after this. We're going to go ahead and see how good we can actually do. We're going to see if this was just a fluke or what had happened. Right now, their Wolven Fiend Divine makes my makes our rage costs makes our rage recovery rate so slow that we cannot do anything the only thing that is saving me at all is that great sage 
it gave me five rage, which was really, really helpful in countering that mm. Woven Fiend. Which was really, really helpful in countering that Woven Fiend here. But right now, we're just doing as much possible damage. We're going to see how much longer we can actually make this last. We do have an Abyss Demon, so technically we do have a chance, but not a very good one in my opinion, especially since their Toxic Shaman is reviving. So we are going to unfortunately take a loss in this battle, but we are going to go ahead and just do a another attack here. We're going to do another PvP battle. We're going to see how much damage we can actually do. We're going to see how many attacks we can actually get in. And I'm not sure why they weren't activating their Toxic Shaman skill. But there we go. Now we are going to lose, unfortunately. But we're going to see how much we can actually get done here. And I am going to just surrender this. I'm not going to make it go on any longer than it needs to. But we're going to be doing another attack. We lost 18 points there, so we need to recover this. We need to go ahead and get the points back. We're going to go ahead and activate all the divines all at once here. And we're going to wait for enough rage to activate a Toxic Shaman skill. Heal all, all our team up. And then go ahead and deal some damage to the opponent's team as well. Their Chiron won't be a problem. Their Wonton won't be a problem. Arcane Caster's going down. Great Sage going down. All their heroes going down. All the heroes are dying. This is great for us. We're doing superbly fantastic right now. Just going ahead and seeing how much damage we can actually do to them. Right now we are doing pretty good so far. All our heroes are pretty much at full health. We do have a full lineup. And they only have three heroes left. So they have three heroes that have died so far. And now four heroes have died. About to be five. About to be six heroes that have died. So we are going to go ahead and have this in the bag. This will not be a problem. We are going to go ahead and take Skag out. Um, Skag is going down. We're just having to wait the rest of the time. Go ahead and do as much damage as possible. Trying to kill their heroes as quick as possible. Just so we won't have a timeout. And so we can actually kill their arena tower. Right now we're just doing as much possible damage as much as possible. Right now we're just finishing this up here. And the only thing that is left is a Skull Mage. And a Skull Mage versus a Woven Fiend. Skull Mage severely, severely loses. Even a Pisces Skull Mage versus a low level Woven Fiend. Like a 140 to 160 Woven Fiend. The Woven Fiend will still win if it's in hero mode. It will just out heal. It will just be so overpowered. It will just go ahead and crush them. Right now, we are up in points, technically, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. If you do want to see, for anything that you want to see with this account, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see me do on this account. This is a more powerful account than what I have, so leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see, and I am out.